Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna remake that, the video of the mesh components. So if I go over here and I have component, I'm gonna be remaking these videos, mesh, the mesh filter, the mesh renderer, and the skin mesh renderer. So let's just get started. I'm gonna add this mesh filter, and then I'm gonna add, let's say the default cube. And we got this cube, and as you can see, we don't see no cube in our scene. So in order to see a cube in the scene, or our mesh in the scene, we would also have to add our mesh renderer. So now the mesh renderer, what it asks for is a material. So I'm just gonna add the default material that uh, Unity provides. So default material. And as you can see, it kind of got dark because our cube is probably really huge right now. So as you can see, this is our cube. I'm gonna shrink it down and I'm just gonna drag it up. So as you can see, we have our cube here and we can also change our different meshes so to whatever we would like as you can see so for now i'm just gonna add let's say this this capsule i'm gonna raise it up just a bit and we could change our material here to in a material that course that we you know you might have or you could create your own material of course they have to be materials and not just sky boxes and random stuff but as you can see my material changes let me go back to the default now there's also lighting, this lighting section right here. This lighting section is if you want your uh, game object, your mesh to cast shadows. So let's say I turn it to off. As you can see, there's no shadows. If I put on, you can see the shadow right here. Now if I have two sided, can't really tell, but let me, let me add a more complex object. Let me add this robot. Now this robot is from the Unity Asso store and it is from unity themselves so i will post the link down below of this asset so let me just show you him facing us now we have this cast shadow as you can see we got shadows now if i put two-sided you could kind of see his arm kind of got darker and right here kind of got more complete the shadowing so let me change it to just on so as you can see they got just darker overall now we can receive shadows so if we want our game object our mesh to receive shadows if we wanted to you know receive shadows from another object we could click here and as you can see it's already receiving some sort of shadows now there's contribute global illumination let me pull this out so contribute global illumination if you have this checked this will use the unity's GI or global illumination and it can receive it right here by using either light maps or light probes so and if you have this checked you also get this light mapping option so you could scale in the light map so if you have this set to zero it will not appear in the light map and anywhere in between it will you know depending if you want it like halfway fully baked in whatever and then you could also stitch seams so this will help for the it will help smoothen out the light maps there's light map parameters so if you want it to be high resolution low resolution medium or very low and you could also create your own resolution you could click view and it will show you the stuff now as you can see the real-time gi has been deprecated but there still is baked gi and of course general gi so uh, there's also so let me just take off these two there's probes now light probes you could either use light probes you could use a proxy volume or you could use the custom provided so it will use the the one provided by the material so if i click it we get this like grayish material and as you can see it says mode requires sh properties to be set via material property block so in this property block we have to set it and then there's also just go to blend probes there's also reflection probes so you can use the reflection probes like the one i have here you could click off so as you can see it's not using the reflection probe no more it barely did any difference but if i had a different material you would be able to tell a little more it would be a little more obvious now there's blend probes and skybox so you could use both blend probes and the skybox to you know of course affect the material on your mesh renderer there's anchor override so if you want let's say you have a root bone or let's say all these body parts were separate you could have let's say the the waist or even the body area or even the arm be the main focus for these probes and then there's also additional settings so these are the motion vectors so if you want it to have camera motion only motion depending on each object or per object and then if you don't want to have no motion at all 
and then dynamic occlusion if you want this to be uh, in the dynamic occlusion colon you could have this checked if you do not want it to be there then you just uncheck it and yeah that's pretty much it for these now let me go to the skin mesh renderer so to show this real quick i'm just going to drop this in and this is a asset from the asset store i will leave a link down below if you want to download this this is free as well as the robot now i am showing you this free asset because i did not want to make a model in blender and add bones to it and everything because that's what you would have to do so these right here by bip 001 that's pretty much the bones so like the bone placements so if we go to the scene we go to pelvis you can see that's the pelvis that's the left thigh right thigh if you go down there's right calf right foot a right toe and it looks like they even got a toe nub so each one you would be able to to animate or to move around that's why they add all these bones for more um, control over the, the character. So if we go to the soldier mesh, we're going to see the skin mesh renderer. Now there's edit bounds, so you could edit these bounds right here. And it's just a way of keeping your, your character in the bounds. The bounds will pretty much... Okay, let's say the character is not in these bounds. It's pretty much going to mess up with the animations and the, the material, all that stuff. This is where you want your your mesh to be inside of inside of these bounds so you could adjust the bounds here of course you could as you can see it disappears when I move it too high so it did look in the game view yeah so as you can see it just disappears so you would have to you know kind of position these correctly and then you could also extend it and all that so you could extend the box you know any direction you like and you can move it any direction you like now for quality these are the bones so if you want just one bone to be able to manipulate this mesh uh, that's what that means or if you want two bones or if you want four bones but this is per vertex so one bone per vertex two bones per vertex and so on and then this is if you wanted to update when this mesh is off screen you could just have this checked if you wanted to if you don't you don't have to and then there's the mesh so whatever mesh you want but of course if let's say so we got this mesh that works of course but we will get an error saying that you know the bones are not mapped to this mesh so you would have to have a mesh them so if you have bones in your mesh you would have to have a mesh that maps to those bones if that made any sense and then there's the root bone so the root bone is just this right here the pelvis so it's just this in here and that's what will that's the main root of the bone so it would be this section right here now there's materials materials so you can see there's two materials and you could even add more depending on how much uh, your model has so this model of has two materials one for the soldier and one for the weapon if i hit minus let's say on the weapon you could see the material fades away and of course you could even add your own material so you could have like uh, different materials if you have different like let's say gun materials you could switch between them or whatever or let's say skins different skins for your weapons uh, that's how you would change it right there and then um there's lighting same thing with the other one if you wanted to have shadows you can have it on off if you wanted to cast shadows if you wanted to be two-sided you just want to render the shadows only if you want to receive shadows these are pretty much the same as what i covered you know if you want custom the custom provided material from this you know from these material blocks or if you uh, you want a proxy volume if you're using light probes or reflection probes you could have blend probes and skyboxes together you can just have blend probes or just simple and then additional settings same thing but the skin motion vectors as you can see it has it checked so it's either you want to have motion vectors with the skin renderer or you don't and then the same thing with occlusion if you want to have occlusion colon enabled or disabled so that's pretty much it i made this video because i did have a couple comments saying that the video was hard to hear and it wasn't easy to understand so hopefully this video was a little louder and it's easier to understand i was gonna just get that old video i had and add some filters to it to increase the volume but i decided to just make a whole new video especially because i think i deleted the old video i could not find it so yeah 
here's the new video hopefully you guys understand it a little better if you guys do need any help let me know in the comments below if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below i will leave all these free assets in the description below if i do forget just remind me i always forget stuff like that uh, but anyways hit that like button if you enjoyed this video if you learned anything new hit that subscribe button if you want to continue watching more videos like this and also don't forget to hit that bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as I post a video once again thank you guys